Alara whispered to Elias. Thank you for seeing me, truly seeing me, when no one else would. Elias held her close, his heart overflowing with love. I will always see you, my princess, he whispered back. For you are the most beautiful soul I have ever known. Once upon a time, in the peaceful village of Willowbrook nestled among the rolling green hills and lush farms, there lived a princess named Alara. Her father, King Darius, ruled over this idyllic land with wisdom and kindness. Alara was not just any princess. She was known throughout the village for her gentle heart, her kindness to animals, and her unwavering care for the villagers. However. Princess Alara carried a burden that no one else in the kingdom could see. From a young age, she had struggled with a peculiar challenge, a very strong body odor. Even as a child, Alara's smell was different from the other children, and as she grew older, it only got worse. This pungent odor trailed behind her like a persistent shadow no matter how much she bathed or what perfumes she tried. Despite her gentle nature and royal status, the villagers began to treat Alara differently. They would whisper behind her back, some making unkind jokes about her smell. Mothers would quickly usher their children away when Alara walked by, and young girls who used to be her friends now avoided her. This constant rejection and isolation weighed heavily on Alara's heart. She longed for acceptance and companionship, but her odor seemed to be an impenetrable barrier. Even the young men in the village, who were initially drawn to her beauty and royal title, would quickly change their minds once they got close enough to catch a whiff of her scent. Alora's heart ached with loneliness. She spent most of her days inside the palace, looking out of her window at the villagers below. She dreamed of finding true love, of someone who would see past her odor and love her for the kind-hearted princess she was. One warm summer day, as the village prepared to celebrate the annual summer feast day, Alora heard lively sounds drifting up from the village square. The air was filled with the joyful beats of drums and the laughter of villagers. Curious and longing to be a part of the festivities, Alara decided to sneak out of the palace for a brief moment of freedom. As she approached the edge of the village square, she saw villagers of all ages dancing joyously around a bonfire, their colorful skirts twirling in the air. Alara's heart swelled with longing to join them, to feel the freedom of dancing without fear of judgment. Summoning all her courage, Alara stepped into the square, hoping to blend in with the dancers. For a few moments, she was unnoticed, lost in the swirl of colors and laughter. But then, as fate would have it, a sudden breeze carried her unfortunate scent through the crowd. The villagers wrinkled their noses in disgust, glancing around to find the source of the smell. The joyful drumming and dancing came to an abrupt halt as all eyes turned towards Princess Alara. Mouths fell open in shock before twisting into unpleasant sneers and whispers spread like wildfire through the crowd. Alara's eyes filled with humiliated tears. She felt the weight of their judgment and ridicule pressing down on her, suffocating her spirit. In a panic, she turned and ran, her heart pounding in her chest. She dashed behind some bushes, hoping to hide from the cruel stares and whispers. Alone and trembling, Alara crouched down, tears streaming down her cheeks. She felt the familiar ache of loneliness and rejection wash over her. How she wished for someone to see past her odor, to accept her for who she was. To her surprise, 
A kind voice broke through her despair. Why did you stop dancing back there? You looked so joyful and free. Alar looked up to see a smiling young man standing before her. He was holding a hand drum, his eyes filled with warmth and compassion. I, I thought no one would want to dance with me, Alara whispered, her voice trembling with emotion. The young man knelt down beside her, offering her a gentle smile. Don't worry about them. I think you're wonderful dancer. Please ignore their unkind words and keep dancing with happiness and freedom. Moved by his kindness, Alara felt a flicker of hope in her heart. Despite her doubts and fears, she stood up, brushing off her dress. The young man began to play a cheerful rhythm on his drum, and Alara hesitated for a moment before letting the music guide her. As she danced, Alora felt a surge of joy and freedom coursing through her veins. She twirled and spun with abandon, her body moving in harmony with the music. The young man's smile grew wider as he watched her, his drumming becoming more lively and energetic. For the first time in her life, Alara felt truly seen and accepted. She danced as if her heart would burst, letting go of all her self-consciousness and fear. In that moment, surrounded by the music and the warmth of the young man's gaze, she was no longer the princess with the unpleasant odor. She was simply Alara, a girl who loved to dance. When the music finally faded and Alara caught her breath, she and the young man stood there, gazing at each other with wonder and joy. Thank you, Alara whispered, her eyes shining with unshed tears. Thank you for seeing me. The young man smiled, his eyes filled with admiration. You're welcome, he said softly. I see you, Alara, and I think you're amazing just the way you are. They sat together in the quiet of the evening, talking and laughing as if they had known each other for years. The young man, whose name was Elias, told Alara about his life in the neighboring village and how he loved to play his drum for the villagers. Alara found herself opening up to him, sharing her hopes and fears, her dreams of finding love and acceptance. As the night wore on, they realized how late it had become. Elias offered to walk Alara back to the palace, and she accepted gratefully. They walked side by side, the silence between them comfortable and easy. When they reached the palace gates, Alara hesitated, reluctant to say goodbye. Will I see you again? She asked softly, her heart fluttering in her chest. Elias smiled, reaching out to take her hand. Of course, Alar, I would love to see you again. Maybe we can dance together under the stars next time. With a shy smile, Alara nodded, her heart soaring with happiness. She watched as Elias walked away, his figure disappearing into the night. From that day on, Alara and Elias met in secret away from the prying eyes of the villagers. They would steal moments together, dancing and talking for hours on end. Alara felt alive and free in Elias's presence, her worries and fears melting away. But their secret meetings could not last forever. One day, Alara's father, King Darius, noticed her growing happiness and asked about the source of her joy. Unable to keep her secret any longer, Alara told him about Elias, the young man who had captured her heart. At first, King Darius was skeptical. How could his daughter, a princess, fall in love with a commoner? But as he watched Alora speak of Elias with such love and admiration, he saw the truth in her eyes. He realized that Elias had brought a light into Alara's life that had been missing for so long. With a heavy heart, King Darius gave her Alara and Elias to be together. 
he summoned Elias to the palace, where he met with the young man and saw the goodness in his heart. King Darius knew that his daughter's happiness lay with Elias, and he welcomed him into their family with open arms. And so, Alora and Elias were married in a beautiful ceremony, surrounded by the villagers who had once shunned Alara for her odor. But now, they saw her in a new light, a radiant bride, glowing with happiness and love. As they danced together under the stars on their wedding night, Alara whispered to Elias, Thank you for seeing me, truly seeing me, when no one else would. Elias held her close, his heart overflowing with love. I will always see you, my princess, he whispered back, for you are the most beautiful soul I have ever known. And so, Princess Alara and Elias lived happily ever after, their love a beacon of hope and acceptance for the villagers of Willowbrook. They danced together in the moonlight their laughter mingling with the rustle of leaves and the gentle melody of Elias's drum. From that day on, the villagers learned a valuable lesson that true beauty lies not in outward appearances, but in the kindness of the heart. And Princess Alara, once shunned and ridiculed for her odor, was now the most beloved and admired woman in the kingdom. Her kindness and grace shining like a beacon for all to see. And as for Elias, he continued to play his drum for the villagers, his music a reminder of the love that had blossomed in the most unlikely of places. Together, Alara and Elias showed the world that love knows no bounds and that true acceptance comes from seeing beyond the surface to the beauty within.